number 23, made it to hall five, the uh, knife hall. I think it's pretty much all the knife manufacturers in here. And first stop, I've come to the Benchmade booth. This is Alex with Benchmade Knife Company. We've got a biggest selection of new products here that we launched for 2023. We actually launched it last month, well, two months ago now at SHOT Show. And uh, just gonna kind of spotlight a few high level points and some of our favorite knives from the launch, at least my favorite knives from the launch. And uh, we'll jump right into it. We've got it kind of organized by what we call our classes. So we've got a number of black class knives here, a lot of autos that we launched, a lot of new color variations in the shootout family. We did some new Tanto blades on the uh, Claymores, and we did our new mini Claymores. Those are really cool little guys there. And then moving to the next row, you'll notice the mythical 4850 OM. This is a knife we actually tried to launch a number of years ago. Uh, had a lot of delays in production and engineering on it, but uh, it is a long-awaited mini out the front for us. So. You've got uh, the aluminum you know, handles on this guy. And you got the side fire out the front mechanism, S30B blade. The idea here is we don't have a small out the front option, and this is kind of our answer to it. So great little EDC, deep pocket carry. If you move up the line here, you've got our immunity family of knives. This is another one we actually were trying to launch last year. We introduced it, but we could not get it out the door just due to demand and uh, some vendor issues. However, it is coming out this year. We have actually three models of this guy. So you have, in my hand here is what we're calling the partial autoimmunity. It is a sub two inch blade, which makes it California legal for an automatic. Um, you can get this in either the Woodland Green, the Crater Blue, or the uh, Burnt bronze, I think we're calling it FDE colorway. That green is absolutely killer, man. It's popping. It's so nice. Yeah, so this guy, really hot little auto, right? It's our axis auto mechanism there. Sweet. They all come with lanyards. The idea is this is a three finger knife where you have three fingers on the handle and then your fourth finger kind of rests on that lanyard. Yeah. Obviously, you can remove it if you prefer not to have anything sticking out of the pocket. It is a deep pocket carry. And these are all CPM M4 blade steel as well, so very tough, hardworking steel. Nice. So that is the partial autoimmunity. Sorry, English viewers, you can't have that one. Yeah, and then you have, <laughs> this is the full size. It's a more than two inch blade on this guy. This will be legal oh, 40 plus states in, in the US now. Crater Blue, again, you can get any of these three variants in the three colors. Uh, also the M4 blade steel and also the auto axis. Cool little uh, Easter egg we like to call them on this knife. It was totally conceptualized and designed and, and initial prototypes produced during COVID. And so our, uh, our designers like to have a little fun with it. And if you notice that pivot point, it is actually a COVID molecule. Huh. So That's just kind cool. of a little nod to yeah, yeah. when this was designed. That's awesome. And then finally, which I think this will be able to carry in, in the UK, this is the manual version of the same family. So this is the... Oh, uh, nice. Just the, uh, well, technically this is the 290 BK-1 immunity. So this is just a manual axis lock, meaning you just pull the bar, thumb it open. Same blade steel, same materials, and the handle. And again, get it in the burnt bronze, Crater Blue or Woodland Green. Yeah, that's sweet. Oh. Next guys we have here are kind of some refreshed CLAs. This is the 4300 uh, CLA family. So CLA standing for Compa Compact Light Auto. Um, the unique thing about these, other than some new kind of milling and styling we did on the G10 handles, you've got an Ivory G10 and then a, an OD G10. We did some neat kind of work with the uh, some of the hardware you know we've got the FDE kind of bronze hardware on the push button and also on the clips and then you'll notice these guys are also magna cut so kind of our first folly into some magna cut knives we're pretty excited about the steel got a nice stone wash on there as well yeah that's nice 
The OD will be available indefinitely, however the Ivory is going to be just a seasonal for us. Um, only available kind of the second half of 2023 and then we'll just continue it and we'll probably do a different seasonal color here in 2024. And again these are push button autos so you got a safety there, forward is safe, back is off. And that's so, nothing as well. Yeah, it's, considering the size they come out nice. Yeah, yeah this is a kind of a sleeper EDC auto for us. So, I mean a lot of us at Benchmade love, love this knife, carry it. Um, the only complaints we ever had was that the handles were a bit smooth, but we've kind of addressed that with this new model. We added some you know, larger jimping bumps on the tail end here and also on the foregrip. Um, and then you'll see some also built into kind of the bolster there, if you will. Sweet. So that is the 4300s. Here we got bug outs. Everyone should be familiar with those. We've got new colorways for these guys. We've got Alpine Glow, Crater Blue. Uh, storm gray, seafoam green, um, and then we have Alpine Glow in the minis, and then we've got a Mesa Red mini as well. These are all the colors. Yeah, all S30B. Uh, the Alpine Glow and the seafoam, those will be seasonal again just for the second half of 2023, and then we'll, they will be discontinued and we'll probably launch new seasonal colors next year. The crater Blue, Storm Gray, and the Red will be available indefinitely. Moving on, more product in our blue class here. We've got a couple new variations of our Freak family. So this is the full size 560 Freak, but now this is the 560-03, I believe. So we did our, kind of what we do with a lot of our products is we'll upgrade them to carbon fiber handles and S90B blades. We'd originally launched it in some injection molded dual durometer handles. And then we came out with what the Super Freak, the full size version of this guy. And so, Got a lot of requests for a mini version of that 565, but with the full size kind of materials. So we finally did that here on this guy. So you got the layered gray, black G10 with a red base, and then a CPM M4 blade. Yeah, that's stunning handle on that. Mini Barrage, this is an Osborne design from a long time ago. Uh, we gave it a little bit of a refresh this year. We put some blue rich light handles, some new uh, milling and texture in those guys there. S30B blade, we gave it a little bit of color pop on the pivot. Or sorry, not the pivot, the uh, thumb stud there. And also on the back spacer itself here, got a little color. We went with satin hardware on this guy, aside from that pivot there. A lot of you remember the 585 Barrage. It's kind of been our best-selling assisted knife for, oh man, at least 12, 15 years, I believe. This is another one everyone should recognize. This is the Mini Osborne, the 945-2 is this one. So again, with our carbon fiber handle and S90V combination. And this mirrors the full-size version, the 940-1. Um, it's also got the same blue barrel spacers in it as the 940-1. The Osborne family is still a top 10 selling knife for us, and we've had that knife out for 20 plus years. So, great EDC. Moving along, we're going to stick to the blue class here first. I will spotlight the 317, I believe it's a BK-03, hold me on that. Uh, this is a Weekender and this will be a kind of a limited edition Weekender, again only available in the second half of 2023. Uh, we did some S90V blades in this guy, sorry 317 BK-02 is the skew on that guy. And now this is just a slip joint folder. So you've got, you know, your smaller blade in the back, kind of the full size in the front, nail nick ovals there. And that, you've got a fold out okay. bottle opener on the back side there. Yeah. Should you be caught in that sort of emergency? <laughs> a beer emergency. We've all right. that. Yeah. Yeah, nice. 
that's the uh, 317 BK-02 Weekender. So you, could, you could EDC that UK guys. Yeah. No problem. This is probably my favorite of our 2023 launch. This is the 748 Narrows. So on paper and in renderings, this really, you know, those really didn't do it justice. Once you get this in your hands, you'll you'll change your mind quickly on your opinions on it. Machined titanium handles. As you can see, we did some color pop on the hardware with the kind of the crater blue or benchmade blue anodization. You've got an M390 blade on this guy. It does look stunning. Yeah, and you got a matching anodized clip there. Yeah, that's really nice. But the, the, the best it's part about this knife thin. is how thin it is. Yeah. So this is sub quarter inch. It is, uh, well actually I think it's 0.28, so just a barely over a quarter inch. This is the thinnest axis lock we've ever come out with. We actually had to pretty much redesign the axis lock to make it fit into this platform. Yeah, it's crazy thin. Yeah. And a really thin slicey blade on there as well. Yeah, it's got a fairly deep belly to it. I mean, mm. you can do a lot of work with this. Um, it's sitting on ball bearing thrusters, so it's very smooth open and close. Almost too smooth. We had a number of people cut themselves on this knife at SHOT Show <laughs> just because closing it, it just okay, effortlessly yeah, yeah. glides back into the handles there. But Yeah, you got to be careful with that. It's really nice and fidgety, but at the same time you make sure you get your fingers out of the way you know. Yeah, oh yeah, it catches your pinky. If yeah. your pinky's crossing that blade path, man, yeah. you are toast. So. Again, one of my favorites uh, yeah, that's nice. that's out of the 2023 launch. And is that out now or is that due out? Uh, I believe that's coming out in June. Cool. So most of these, the earliest launch on some of these is April with some of the bug outs. Uh, actually, the mini Claymore should be coming out here in March. Everything else is kind of April, May, June, and July. Some of these hunt products, which we'll get into now, will be coming out later in uh, August, September, October. Um, I'll start right with this guy here. This is kind of an upgraded version of our tagged out that we launched last year. Um, this is the carbon fiber magna cut version of the tagged out. And we did the uh, orange Cerakoted blade, kind of a matching backspacer on this guy as well. Yeah, that's a nice color scheme. I never thought I'd like orange blades, but you know what? They're actually really, really cool. Yeah, a lot of people worry about them chipping and, or, you know, wearing. Uh, for me, those are just uh, well-loved features of a knife when you wear it in, break it in like that. And if you're in the outdoors hunting, you set this sucker down in low light, you're going to spot it a lot easier. This is a, another tagged out, but you'll notice we switched it up and went to thumb studs. Uh, a lot of people prefer thumb studs over the thumb hole or the nail neck, if you will. OD G10 handles. Uh, and I believe we did S30B, S, no, sorry, S45VN blade steel on that guy. This one is also another one of my favorites from the launch this year. Uh, getting into some of our fixed blades here. This is the Raghorn, but we kind of redid the uh, materials. You got an OD G10 handle, and we did S30B blade. We got the Bolteron sheath. Um, this is kind of your workhorse knife, so if you're going to have one knife in your pack, whether you're hunting or camping, this is a great one to carry. You know, you can do food prep at camp, you can process an animal in the field. Um, it's got some great features, obviously you've got the ridges milled into the front head, kind of right in front of the bolster area here, if you will, for uh, pinch grip style. And again, those extend below here, down in below the choil, right? On the back side as well. You have some out on the front, so you can pinch and do oh, some no, fine work yeah. if you need to. That's clever. So multiple ways to carry, hold this, if you will. You can turn that big knife into a sort of smaller yeah. tool if you need to do some fine stuff. Yeah, very agile. Yeah, yeah. Good size as well. So you could do a bit of anything with that. Yeah. This is one of my uh, favorite hunt knives. We actually launched oh, three, four years ago, the Altitude. This is kind of a revamped Altitude. So same S90V blade. Uh, however, instead of the small carbon fiber micro scale, we did a full length 
carbon fiber handle scales on this guy. Um, changed up a bit of the jimping points on this. Uh, made a larger lanyard hole. This is, this is uh, if you've never used S90V to process an animal, it's pretty incredible stuff. I mean, you can, you can skin, you can quarter, you can debone. And then the beauty of this, you know, since you get down to a nice fine point and you have these awesome ways to hold it, is you can cape animals as well with this nice fine point. So, yeah. And then, this is another one we launched last year. This is the 15700 Flyway. OD G10 handles. You've got S90V blades, so again, a great workhorse. This was designed more for uh, waterfowl up on game. Yeah. Um, yeah good very stuff. fine point, you know, almost a bird and trout style blade on that guy. That is your ultimate caping knife, if you will. Actually, had some taxidermists come by at shot shows saying they love that knife for working in their shops. Sort of our answer to the throwaway blades that you see out there. Um, the idea is S90V has great edge retention, but if it ever does get dull or at the end of your hunting season, as with all Benchmade products, we have lifetime warranty, including free sharpening. You just send it in and we will sharpen it, clean wow. it, tune it if you'd like, and we pay the shipping back to the customer. So. And is that worldwide? That is worldwide, yeah. So if I bought Benchmade in the UK, I could send it back, yep. you guys will sharpen it up and send it back. Yep, we will. It's a little more expensive, obviously, for you to ship from the UK, but we will pay That's the shipping cool. back to you. So. That's awesome. Yeah. This is intended. And it's, it's really nice for any of our, and it's got mechanical moving parts, right? Any of the folders, if you break something, you know, we fix it, replace it, and we it get it intended to shipped back out to you. So. Okay. Same Last guy here. This is kind of a remodeled Grizzly faster. Creek. We launched this, I think, five years ago or so. Um, We've got our the, uh, stabilized wood handles. Uh, we did some color pop with the pivot ring and the backspacer. We've got the fold out. This will not be legal. Gut yeah. hook, rescue hook. Germany for the autos. Uh, and then on the, the uh, blade, blade itself, changed up some of the jimping number, points. So on the back spine here. And then we took out the, kind of the recurve when we made it that more an even edge mm -hmm. on there. So it makes it a little easier for sharpening as well. Beautiful looking handle as well. Yeah, so the wood is nice stuff. Yes, sir. Seem to be appreciated. That's probably not doing it justice on this camera, but that's yeah, really, really Yeah, we don't have the best setup here for uh, camera work. I apologize for really that. Nice. And that's our uh, 2023 lineup. There are a few models that we still don't have samples of here. We've got uh, new colors in the bailout family. So we have crater blue variants of the bailout, and we have uh, storm, or storm gray, I think, handles on the bailout as well. Uh, Immunity. Last ones down at the very far end there. They're more purpose built, are our 185 uh, sock P fixed blades. Those are more military tactical style fixed blades uh, that you'll see out there in the market soon. So. Brilliant, and thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks for coming by.